lot of y'all are confused. Okay, I, I had some of my friends call me and tell me to take down the post that I've been making. One of my friends said, take it down because you might lose some brand deals. And I said, if a brand doesn't want to work with me because I'm fighting for what's right, I don't want to work with that brand. Okay, another issue. Um, a lot of people are scared to say something. Scared on how their fans will react. If their fans aren't here to, to fight the good cause and fight the good fight, you don't need that fan. You don't need that fan. All the, uh, the, the, the celebrities, the social media influencers, people that, that, um, you know, have fame and have a platform and they're, they're not saying anything. Why? What is your reason? I see people posting uh, selfies and, and, and continuing with their lives like everything's okay. Yeah, everything's okay for you. But what about the people that are losing their lives? The, the best way I can explain it, a, a scientist doesn't do the same experiment and expect different results. You understand? The hashtags, the kneeling, the the walks, the the shirts. My people have been doing that and have not been getting heard. Now they hear us. A lot of people don't really understand what racism is. Yeah, they they they'll 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 hear the definition and they'll, they'll they may see some videos. But a non-black person will never know what we go through. To this day, I got to go into restaurants and pay for my meal before just so I get the service that I deserve. You think that's fair? I remember riding with a non-black friend and we got pulled over by the cops. He's like, oh, fuck, fuck the cops. Fuck, they pulled me up. And I'm looking like, yo, what you doing with your hands? Keep your hands on the steering wheel. But then I realized they don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So when someone calls me and tells me to take down my post, when I'm fighting for what I'm fighting for, equality, they'll never understand what it's like to have to watch your own back. Every time you leave your house. I remember when those wildfires were happening. Hey man, can you can you post this? I'm starting a, a, a wildfire fund. I'm I'm starting this fund. You just put it in your in your in your bio. Swipe up, please, man. It'll help me out a lot. Hey, my people are dying. Where are those same people at? Hmm. These cops that aren't doing the right thing should not be working. That's the bottom line. There needs to be a screening. There needs to be a, a, a voting system where we know who is patrolling these streets. We need to know who these people are. There's no way that this guy that, that was kneeling on George Floyd's body like that should have been working. There's no, there's no way he should have been there. There needs to be change through that system. Through that system. That's where the change needs to start. We need to know who's protecting us. You see a rapper with a bodyguard. You think he just let anybody bodyguard him? No, he does a proper screening to know that his life is safe. His life is protected. The president. You think he just going to let anybody protect him? No, there's a screening. Mr. President, where's our screening? How do we know we have the right people protecting us? You're either with the movement or you're against it.